She broke me so I ruined her entire life. It all starts about 10 years ago. I was happily engaged to a girl who I knew for about 9 years but had only been dating for about 1 year. Let's call her Nancy MCFing Duntbag all was good, she had her dream engagement ring, we had a nice house together, both had steady jobs and the wedding plans were coming along nicely. About 2 months prior to the wedding we found out we were going to have a baby. Such happiness had never been felt before. Wedding plans continued and the big day was only 28 days away. I come home from work and find that Nancy isn't home. I call her to see if she got held up at work and to see what time she might be home. But Nancy wasn't at work, she was at her grandmother's house, in another state. Nancy calmly told me that she no longer wanted to get married and that she was not coming home. Complete and utter shock. What in the duck just happened? I try to call her back, her phone is off. I call her grandmother, no answer. What about the wedding? What about our baby? What about everything? No answers. No contact for three days. Three days of no breath in my body, no clues, nothing. On day four, Nancy shows up and starts packing her stuff. She won't say a word to me. Nothing. She leaves and sends me an email saying that she can't be with me, again, no reasons. I begin calling her sister and asking what the duck happened. Her sister tells me that she has no idea but gives me their mom's phone number. Strange, Nancy said her mom was out of the picture because she was in abusive substances. Nevertheless, I call mom. Mom tells me that I am lucky number three who has fallen for this trap. Nancy cut mom out of her life so mom couldn't ruin Nancy's game of milking guys for money and resources. Nancy has been pregnant twice before and had miscarriages and milked guys for everything she could before running off to super Christian grandma's house and claiming abuse so grandma will take her in until the dust settles. And she can do it again. What? The. Duck. Weeks go by and still no contact with Nancy. I've lost 20 pounds and have been counseled at my job for poor work performance. My family is mad as duck. Family members lost money on travel plans to the wedding, and I am mortified. I lost all of the deposits on everything for the wedding since it was less than 30 days before it was cancelled. I'm pissed broke. I check our joint bank account, negative $2,000. Duck. Guess I won't be paying the mortgage. I start to get my shot together and my sadness turns to rage. I had so much anger inside of me I actually had to scale it back a bit or I might have gone to prison. A month and a half after the split, I get a text. I had a miscarriage, you stressed me out too much and my daughter is dead now, daughter? I was having a daughter? You're blaming me for this? That's it, I'm going to unalive this witch, no. Wait, take this which apart at the seams. A few days of drinking get me over the hump of sadness again, back to rage, let's do this. Most of Nancy's shot was still at my house, which I have to walk away from because I can afford it. I start to pack it all up and in order to get rid of it somehow. But I stumble upon a few things. Her resume and her checkbook to her personal bank account. I read her resume, it's all bullshot like everything else. I hop on the computer, create a new Yahoo email address and send a long letter to her corporate office telling them line by line how it's all lies. Feels good. Operation checkbook. I sign her name on every check and rip them all out of the book. I drive 30 minutes to the seediest part of town and leave them on a sidewalk in front of an AM PM. Too much good stuff. I go back home and throw out all of her shot. Duck it. Sue me witch. Except her laptop, I keep that shot. Two weeks go by. Nancy calls, I don't answer. Voicemail says she got laid off due to cutbacks. I know that's not true. Duck yeah. Two more weeks go by and letters from some district. Attorney's bad check restitution program begin to trickle in the mail. Duck yeah. Oh, and the registration renewal for her car. Shred all that shot. Oh, while I'm at it I might as well put a change of address in for her at the post office. Where to? The temporary shelter for the homeless sounds good. I hear through a mutual friend that since Nancy is out of work now she is staying with friends and supported financially by super Christian grandma. Duck that. I hop on her laptop and make a new Yahoo email address that is only one number different from Nancy's real email. I email super Christian grandma a video of Nancy finger blasting herself that I had saved. I titled the email hey grandma check out this video I took of my job, I hope I uploaded it right duck yeah email reply. You are disgusting. I hope your new job pays well because I'm not supporting you if you act like that oh, damn. A two for one deal. Embarrassment and financial distress. Noise. Weeks go by and I get a call from Renta Center. What the F? Oh they want all of Nancy's furniture back. I had no idea it was rent to own shot. I tell them I don't have it. They argue and say she says and have it. I stick to my guns and tell them I do not have it and I don't know where it is. That night I burn it all in the yard. $4,200 owed. Zing. I find out that Nancy has a new job and as I am planning my next move I hear great news. Nancy has been arrested and is in jail for embezzlement. Apparently she had some money problems and stole $5,000 out of petty cash and got busted. Oh god this is great. She ducked herself. Months go by with no updates, and then I hear from a friend that she was bailed out of jail by grandma after only a few days and ended up taking a plea bargain for a felony conviction and three years of probation along with restitution. Rec. I hang my hat and call it a day. I have gotten my revenge. I'll leave it there, time to move on. A couple months later the phone rings. It's a repo company looking for info on. Where Nancy is because they are trying to repossess her car. Ha ha ha, okay, one last nail in the coffin. I make a few calls and find the address where she is staying. I call the repo company back and give them the info. They thank me and say I am eligible for a $100 reward if they get the car back. No, thanks, this one's on me. Nancy is now a felon, jobless, and a single mom of a kid she recently had from some random guy. She lives in an apartment with her brother and his girlfriend. 
I am happily married with a beautiful daughter and a great life. Yesterday I get a Facebook message from Nancy. Congrats on the marriage and daughter, I'm glad you're happy I reply, go duck yourself she blocked me. Life is good. Sometimes taking the low road heals the soul.